Hi students, now coming to the next topic that is a continuation for this uh, creating and running a program. In the previous video I had explained about how to write and edit the program in the text editor. Now after writing the program and that program will be saved as a so in the source file. After that you have to compile the program, you have to compile that file. So for compiling the program uh, you can compile with the uh, general format generic uh, program generic compiler or you can take the gcc compiler so first i will explain the normal compilation without a gcc uh, here the compiling the program uh, a compiler you call it as a software compiler is a software that used to translate so whatever the uh, source file we have take we have written compiler is a software that translate the source file into machine language so i already said so first we have written the la uh, source uh, source file that source file is in the form of programming language it is english like sentence so that has to be converted into machine language so if you want to convert that uh, programming language into machine language you need a compiler compiler will convert that program in the form of ones and zeros okay so for that you need a compiler a compiler is a software so it is just a software that is used to translate the source file whatever we have written in the text editor that source file into machine level language it means in the form of ones and zeros next a c compiler has two separate programs so if you take a c compiler it has two separate programs so what are the two separate programs one is the preprocessor and the next one is translator so if you take a c compiler the c compiler will be divided into two programs one is the preprocessor and translator so what will be the preprocessor will do the first part preprocessor is used to read what reads the source code means a source file and prepare prepares it for translator so here the role of the preprocessor is it it first reads the source file whatever uh, that is written the text editor that is reads the source code and it uh, prepares that source code to translate it not completely translates it is ready it is preparing the source code to translate now the role of the translator is here the translator will do actual work it does actual work of converting program into machine language so main uh, the conversion will be done by only the translator here the pros preprocessor will uh, make that source file to uh, ready to translate means it reads the data from the text editor so the c compiler will divide it into two separate programs first it does the preprocessor work after that it translates the program uh, the translator is the main it uh, actually the work of translator is to converting program into machine language next the compiler reads the translation unit so what it does it reads the translation unit and results in object module so whatever it has written uh, read the source file will be converted into machine language that machine language will be result in object module that is coding machine language 
means it is saved in the form of .obj file. So compiling the program, now it is ready for execution? No, it uh, compiler is done only converting the language into machine language. The compiler is doing only for translating the uh, high level language into machine language. That's it. Means if you convert the program completely to machine language, it is not completely ready for execution. Let me write that. But it is not at executable. Not at executable. Why it is not at executable? I already converted that uh, uh, programming language into machine language. Now the system processor can easily understand whatever I have, the user has written. Even though it is not at executable. Why? Because it does not have it does not have the C and other functions included so it does not include the the c functions the library functions and some other functions that are not included only the program source file is converted so you have to link the source file to the library functions okay for that you need a linker so so far what it has written the compiler what is doing the translator unit Here the translation unit is there. The translator unit will translate. So translator will help in uh, converting the source file. So the output for this is object module. Object module so object module is in the form of ones and zeros zero one one zero the complete source file will be converted into like this so this is obj file we call it as an obj file okay so this is normal uh, compiling the program so in the next video i'll explain uh, how to compile the program by using the GCC, GCC compiler.